sharing 15 of the worst fashion trends that need to go away. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. My mission through my channel, yeah, to help you look like the best version of yourself. And today I wanna to talk about some of those fashion trends that are not good. I get this question all the time, like should I keep this, should I purge it? Is this in, is this out? Will this last? Will this stand the test of time? Is this a classic, is it a trend? So I'm gonna talk about 15 of the trends that I think really are not serving anybody. You know, there are always exceptions. There are always these like glamorous model types that can pull off anything. The type of women where you're like, oh, she could wear a burlap sack and still look cool. Like she would just belt it and put some heels on. All of a sudden you're like, wow, that's amazing. But the truth is it doesn't really matter what that person puts on. So of course they can pull off anything, all right? So these for most of us are not good. They're not favorable. They're not flattering, okay? And I'm gonna walk through 15 of these. The first one is way overly distressed jeans. I am a big fan of distressed jeans. I know many of you are not, because you tell me all the time <laughs> in the comments on Instagram and here on YouTube, I know that many of you are not a fan of distressed jeans. I am a fan. However, I am not a fan of the ones that are like ripped up the whole leg. Like, I don't mean just like tears here and there up the leg. I mean like whole stretches of jean cut out of the front, exposing like all of your thigh or all of your knee. That's just not a good look. And I don't care what age you are, what stage of life you're in, what your body looks like. It's just not a good look. That trend needs to go away. Never come back. And jeans that have a rip right under the booty, Mm-mm. No. Again, I don't care your age, your body type, what you look like, how good you look, you're a supermodel. No, you don't need rips under the butt showing cheek. Not, not good. Not a good look. The second trend that needs to go away related to jeans are things peeping out of the jeans on the top. I've seen thong underwear pulled up, swimsuits pulled up, fishnet stockings pulled up, peeping out of the jeans, you know, through the holes, you see, you see fishnets. Like, yeah, of course there are some girls that can pull that off and still look cool. Because again, those are the ones that I told you, remember, they could put the burlap sack on, belt it, heels, and still look cool. It doesn't mean that it's meant for most of us, okay? No thongs out of our jeans no fishnets out of our jeans. That is not okay. It's not a good look for most of us, 99.9% .9 of us. Okay, I'm gonna get some backlash on this one, but I'm gonna say it because I think this trend needs to go away as well. And that is overly embellished jeans. I know they had a time and a moment in the space, but they are not here anymore. They should not be here anymore. You know the jeans I'm talking about that like the whole butt is bedazzled? I mean, we're talking rhinestones and sequins and beads and the whole thing. True Religion used to make a lot of these. They're just not in anymore. It's not a good look. Like maybe you could pull it off if you're going to the rodeo in Texas or you know, you're in that crowd, that rodeo crowd, it might be cool. Um, for the rest of us, no, it's not a good look. Be dazzling your butt, especially like over 40. Mm -mm. No, don't do it. Okay, the fourth trend that needs to go away are these teeny tiny bags. Because what are you putting in those? You can't even fit a freaking credit card in there or your phone or your essentials. Like a bag can only be so tiny and then it just doesn't make any sense. Like you've got to be able to fit your phone, your credit card, a little bit of cash, a lipstick, and your keys, or forget it. What's the point, okay? So I don't get it. I'm not on board with it. It doesn't need to be here. Go away, little teeny tiny bags. Not cool, not cute, not helpful, not functional. <laughs> the fifth trend that needs to go away are utility sandals. I mean like the Teva-like sandals that we used to wear back in like, what was that, the 90s? They've made a comeback and they were not cool back then in my opinion and they shouldn't be around again. Like why are they coming back? And then even worse is when you wear the socks with utility sandals, like that's the worst. Are there women that do this and still somehow look sexy and hot? Yes, but they're the same women that again could wear that sack, right? Supermodel types. 
super stick thin, young, look good in anything. For the rest of us, mm -mm. nope, not a good look. You might wear these if you're like hiking and you need to cross a creek and you don't want to get your hiking shoes dirty. Like in that case, yeah, it's okay. Nobody's really seeing you. You're just using them for a function. But I don't think like with your regular, casual, everyday, short summer look, it's not flattering. It's not a great look. Number six, I just came across recently in a random Google search. It's this giant oversized boxy tea dress. Now I have a ton of t-shirt dresses but they have shape, they have design, they have details, they're flattering, they're interesting. This is like, what? This does look like the burlap sack, you know? Here's a shot of Kim Kardashian wearing one. I'm like, it's very confusing. It's not a good look for anyone. And I don't know why you would want to wear that other than it's just easy and comfortable, but so are your sweatpants, right? I mean, I think sweatpants and a t-shirt would look better than this. So that's when I'm like, it's just perplexing. Like really needs to go away. Bra tops are another one that just are not functional and they don't make sense and they're revealing too much. Why are you wearing a bra as a top? It's not a top, it's a bra. Now I have no problem with bras peeking out. Bras under a sheer top would be really lovely, can be really cool and sexy. Bras like peeking out of the top of a v-neck, very lovely, pretty, sexy bras peeping out of a crochet or some sort of mesh fabric, sexy, alluring, interesting, but like straight up top, mm -mm. it's not a top. You're, you're wearing your bra. Like this just does, doesn't make sense to me. So that one needs to go away. Hot pants are another one. They're not just like Daisy Dukes. We're talking about on the runways, there were like legit almost like swimsuit bottom shorts. That's confusing to me. I don't think that's a good look. If you're a supermodel, sure, you can pull that off. For most of us, it's not a reality and not something we should be wearing. Number nine may be slightly controversial, but I'm just gonna say it, and it's pajamas as clothes. So I'm all for maybe the pajama inspired top as a top, but the full set is where I draw the line. And you see this a lot with the full matching set, like full pajama set outside like in heels and it just it looks ridiculous even like sexy hot women are not pulling this off well i think it just looks like you're wearing your pajamas except you threw on a pair of heels with it sounds like a great concept but it just doesn't an execution just doesn't work doesn't look good are you on team biker shorts or are you not on team biker shorts? I would fall into the not on team biker shorts category. I don't think those are right. It is basically spandex shorts that you would work out in, except people are wearing them as legit shorts, but they're not because you can see your hoo-ha and your booty and the whole thing. I've seen people pull it off and look kind of decent, like they got the blazer and the graphic tee and some cool heels and they're working it. I honestly, I just don't think it's a good look. I really don't. And so that, some of you may be on team biker shorts and if you are, have at them. But for me personally, I, I look at them and I'm like, I just, hmm, I don't get it. Oh, another head scratcher is number 11, furry mules. What? Like Gucci came out with these furry mules and I was like, are these for real? <laughs> is this like a joke? Is someone playing a prank on me? No, people actually wear these furry mules. Here's another trend, just like, okay, bye-bye now. <laughs> See you later. Number 12 is logo mania. I am not a huge logo fan. I like understated, elegant, sophisticated. And when you're wearing like logo tee, logo belt, logo shoes, logo bag, it's way too much, like tone down the logos. This is a trend I'm just like, all right, it's gonna have like five minutes and then it's gonna go away and then I will be happy again. <laughs> trend number 13 that needs to go away are tube tops because nobody looks good as a uniboob and that's basically what they do is it just smushes and weirdly shapes your, your breasts. It's not a great look at all. I can see maybe pulling this off underneath the blazer. You know, you've got a really flattering somehow tube top that you can wear underneath the blazer or if maybe if you're very flat chested, I think it can work. But if you have any kind of chest, you know, like B, C, D, tube tops are just, are just not a good look. 
it's just not. I love a bandeau swimsuit on the beach because then you don't have tan lines and it can look quite elegant. But this tube top trend, I don't think it's a good flattering look for most women. Next up on our trends that need to go away list are neon colors. I thought these would come and they would go so quickly, but I feel like I've been talking about neon colors for a few years now and they are not dying. Why are they not going away? Go away, neon. The only time like I have really enjoyed wearing neon besides the 80s is I do think a neon, like a neon swimsuit can make you look really tan, which is kind of fun. I had one in high school that did make me look really tan. That was high school though. I'm, I'm now a 45 year old woman, so I'm not going to do that probably anymore. I do love kind of a bright pink dress on my daughter. I think that's really pretty. And maybe you could do a neon pop, but I just think like this head to toe neon, oh, the, the suit or the jumpsuit or the dress. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Go away, neon. Go, go, go. The last one. I know some of you are going to be like, what? No, don't say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. You ready? Here we go. Bermuda shorts. I just don't think they do much for anyone. Some of you are like, really? What? Huh? I think they're really tough to pull off regardless of your age, regardless of your height, regardless of your body type. They're just really hard to pull off. They like frame the knee, which is one of the hardest places for a woman, especially over 40. They're just really, really tough to pull off. Okay. So prove me wrong. If you can pull them off and you're like, I can rock these Bermuda shorts and look like a million dollars. Send me a pic, email me, Aaron at bestbestyle.com and let me know, are you on team Bermuda shorts or not? And also, do you agree with me? Or do you think some of these are totally off base? Is there another trend that needs to go away that I missed? Share that one in the comments too. And if you guys like this video and you haven't already subscribed, I hope you will hit that subscribe button to watch more videos just like this one. Also, just for everyday, you know, kind of outfit inspiration, I am over on Instagram at Busby Style. So be sure to pop over there, follow me. And that's a great place too to connect with me on more of a daily basis. I really do check Instagram daily. So I am always happy to answer the comments and answer questions over there on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. It sure was fun to make and I will see you next time. Bye.